Deep in the forests of Niakolo Koba National Park in Senegal, on the western rim of Africa, there's a species of monkey called the Chlorocebus sabius, or more simply, the West African green monkeys. These are known to make a variety of calls in response to various stimuli. When they see a leopard, which is a dangerous predator, they make a certain type of call to warn their kin. When they see a snake, another dangerous creature, they make a different type of warning call. So they've got calls that are specific to individual predators. And likewise, they have individual calls for specific non-threatening stimuli, like there's a call for a new food discovery, or a new fresh water source, or mating calls, or things like that. A team of scientists, led by head researcher Julia Fisher, has been following and studying these green monkeys for almost a decade. Their most recent study took over a year, and during all of this time, they became very familiar with all of the different vocalizations and calls that the green monkeys would make. A really interesting thing that the researchers noticed is that these West African green monkeys did not make warning calls in response to predatory birds. This is because the birds don't really prey on these monkeys, so the monkeys don't see them as a threat, and there's no need to make a warning call when they see them. The researchers wanted to test what would happen if these monkeys saw something unknown and potentially dangerous flying above them. Would they treat it as a threat, or would they simply classify it as some kind of non-threatening bird and ignore it, like they do all of the other predatory raptors? The researchers flew a drone about 60 meters, or a little over 180 feet, above the monkeys. And when they did, when they flew one of these drones, and keep in mind these drones are not quiet, they make a very loud noise. When you see a video shot by a drone, those videos are all muted because the sound from the drone's rotors is impossible to ignore. It's insanely obnoxious. And so when the researchers flew a drone about 180 feet above the monkeys, they were able to evoke a novel reaction. The monkeys made a warning call that they had never made before. It was a new sound. Except not really. It turns out that this purportedly new vocalization made by the West African green monkeys was something the researchers had never heard before in the near decade of time that they spent following them. But it was a strikingly similar vocalization to the one made by East African vervet monkeys when they see an eagle. These vervet monkeys, known as Chlorocebus pygorythrus, live in a different habitat in a different region of Africa but they are closely related and recently diverged from the Chlorocebus sabius, or the green monkeys. In their paper, published in the journal Nature, Ecology, and Evolution, the researchers suggest that this vocalization, this warning call that they made in response to dangerous predatory birds, has been evolutionarily conserved in the green monkeys, but it was phased out of the day-to-day -day behavior of the green monkeys because their divergence took them to a habitat where the predatory birds aren't that much of a threat to them, so the vocalization lost its utility. On a day-to-day -day basis, they just never made the sound. It wasn't something they needed, and so it was almost forgotten. But the vervet monkeys in East Africa, on the other hand, are under threat from predatory birds. They get pecked at in trees, attacked on the ground, and young vervet monkeys, like infants and adolescents, are small enough and weak enough that a predatory bird can pluck them out of the canopy and carry them away to eat them. This evolutionary pressure, this constant threat from the predatory birds, means that the vervet monkeys are frequently utilizing this evolutionarily ingrained warning call. Beyond the fascinating evolutionary connection, the researchers also point out that the green monkeys rapidly learned about the drone. Within just three or fewer exposures to the drone, all the green monkeys had recognized it as a potential threat. To quote the abstract of the paper, they say the monkeys, quote, immediately scanned the sky and ran for cover, unquote. The monkeys understood the drone to be some kind of flying threat, like a predatory bird, and they would emit the appropriate warning call, even though it's something they've almost never used, and virtually none of the green monkeys had ever heard that call before in living memory. And yet, the fact that they could still make that specific vocalization despite all of that 
is proof of its deeply embedded evolutionary origins. This kind of stuff is so cool, and it makes me think about the evolutionarily ingrained behaviors in humans, like smiling and laughter, for example. Even people who have been blind since birth and who have never seen anyone else's face will still instinctively smile when they're happy, and they'll laugh. They'll also make emotive facial expressions that correspond to their mood in the situational context, even if they've never seen these facial expressions before. Another example is our response to snakes. If you are in a situation where your eyes suddenly fell upon a snake and you realize it was there, close to you, most people would instinctively react with fear and try and get away from the snake. Even children in northern latitude cultures where they haven't been exposed to wild snakes for countless generations. I wonder how many more of these deep evolutionary behaviors we all share, hidden beneath the surface behavior that we exhibit on a day-to-day -day basis. If you'll humor me and let me extrapolate for a moment, I wonder if someday in the future, when we come into contact with alien life, if we might react to it with some kind of visceral repulsion, like a primal rejection that roots all the way down to our biochemistry having some kind of existential allergic reaction to the alien biochemistry.